Hello, this is John Russo with Progressive Scale, and today we're going to be, I'm going to show you how to use an AMD FC500i. This is, comes with a manual. Uh, this scale comes single channel by default. If you want to add a second channel like we have here, okay, you have to add a board to the back, and that connects, you add the board in the back here, and then you have to solder up this connector, okay? Um, that's the remote channel. Now to use it, there are two scales. So you have a button right here that remotes you, that toggles you back and forth between the two scales. Okay, scale one and scale two. This is scale one. This is scale two. If you need any information, anything on these scales, you can always contact us. We do distribute these scales all around the country. www.scale.net Okay, so scale one. What I like to do is, this is, the pan is conveniently shaped to hold parts. So there you go, we, we turn it around, and now we're gonna count our parts. So what we wanna do is I have these parts here, and I'm gonna count 10 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 in my hand, okay? So I have 10, first I'm gonna tear out scale one, make sure it's at zero, I'm gonna put them up Ten parts. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and I'm going to tell the scale. I'm going to press one, zero, and you can see the the sample light is already lit up for us. So that means I'm I'm sampling. So I'm just going to press enter. Let me see what happens. See, it says add sample. It's enter, and an average piece or average piece weight is ca is uh, calculated, and we've got the weight of the total. Okay. Um, now what I can do is I can switch to scale two and weigh my bulk if I have a full box of things. So I'm going to hit remote scale. And what I want to do is now I want to tear out that container. I believe I already did, but in order to tear it out, there's two ways of doing it. I can press tear with the full container on there and that just tears it out. Or I can enter the tear weight if I have one, if I know it, I can hit the keyboard tear. Okay, so now all I have to do that I'm in scale two, it's already teared out, is I just dump my parts in there. I'm gonna take these, dump them in there, and hey, ten pieces. So that's the basic operation. Um, I can enter a different value other than ten. If I put fifteen or twenty, I can enter that number. Uh, there's also also an auto recalculation for average piece weight it can do. So if you just add a few parts, it'll auto recalculate the average piece weight if you want to build up a sample. Um, there's also the ability to store IDs. They're all numeric IDs. If you want to do alphanumeric, it's a little more complicated. Uh, but I like it as a basic counting scale. Um, if you want to do things like label printing, uh, more, more data entry, we do have solutions for that as well, where we can uh, do smart scales with uh, label printers attached and uh, we can also connect to um, third-party softwares. We can connect to databases, things like that, and pull information. So, uh, But this is more of a basic counting scale for, for those needs. It's all it's nice. It's one piece, a nice display. Um, I don't know if on the video it blinks a little bit, but it doesn't hear. Uh, it's because of the uh, resolution or the scans on the display. But over here it doesn't blink. Your eyes don't see that. Um, and the second channel can be whatever capacity you need. In this case, this is, I believe, a 12 by 16 platform, 100 pound capacity. It can be 1,000 pound capacity. We can have a floor scale here, whatever we need. Um, and this one pound has uh, options as well. We can have different capacities here. So that's it. I think, uh, I think we've shown you everything. <laughs> if you have any questions, again, you can call us at Progressive Scale, www.scale.net. Uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.